The Braun Fresh and Premium Fin 180P has been specially designed to be installed in a multitude of locations, from mounting flush to the ceiling, in an attic, in a wall, or anywhere it fits and can be properly ducted. With an optional finishing ring and a paintable filter access door, the ventilator blends in wherever it is installed. One can also note the various uses for the Brone Fresh and Premium Fin 180P, including a transfer fan, a supply fan, and an exhaust fan using a remote-mounted switch. The plug-in Fin 180P utilizes a 120-volt grounded receptacle. Ensure that the unit is installed in an accessible area with at least 14 and 1 quarter inches of clearance from the unit's door surface for access in an area that does not exceed 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We only recommend installation within climate zones 1 to 4 as defined by the Department of Energy, whether as a standalone unit or connecting to the ducting of the home's HVAC system. Installation in any other climate zone may cause damage to the house. With all the location requirements met, remove the unit from its packaging and begin the setup. All the necessary mounting hardware and setup instructions have been included in the packaging. Using the four provided screws, Install the provided brackets onto the unit based on the installation type chosen. Do not use any other screws as they may cause damage to the unit. Open the unit's cover to begin the unit setup and wiring process. All the unit's wiring and setup will be conveniently completed on the electronic board. There is no need to remove the electronic board cover. Referring to the data sheet on the unit's cover, select the mode that you want the unit to operate in. Refer to your local building code to determine the required airflow. Utilizing the required airflow CFM tables on the unit's cover, adjust the unit to provide the required airflow. For example, if the required airflow is 90 CFM circled in the table, the runtime percentage set to 50% and the speed switch should be set to 180 CFM. Utilizing the information calculated within the required airflow CFM table, set the CFM speed switch accordingly. Refer to the wiring diagram within the instruction sheet. The unit allows for different wiring options. Perform the low voltage wiring connections located on the electronic board. Ensure there are both 24 volt and 120 volt connections available. If the installation will be completed within a finished space, the unit instruction label is fully removable. We offer an optional finishing trim ring for a finished seamless look. Close the unit lid. It's now time to install the flexible 6-inch round insulated duct with no less than an R4 insulation factor. The air intake hood should be at least 12 inches off the ground and 6 feet from any exhausts or other sources of air contamination. The straightest, shortest duct routing is preferred for optimum performance. Slide the inner 6-inch round flexible duct over the port and secure using a tie wrap. Fully seal the joint. Pull the insulation over the inner ring of the port without compressing it to minimize condensation and building heat loss. Use duct tape to seal the outer membrane of the insulated duct to the outer ring of the port to create an airtight path, making sure not to cover the test port. Plug the unit into a grounded 120 volt outlet. Open the front cover and ensure the green LED is illuminated on the unit and the low voltage 24 volt connections are made. If ducting to the home's HVAC system, ensure the heating, air conditioning, and fan calls are set to the off position at the thermostat while measuring the airflow. Before adjusting the runtime percentage knob to test, take note of the current unit setting. Once that is completed, set the runtime percentage knob to test and close the door. Wait until the boot sequence is completed, which will take around 20 seconds. Remove the test port caps located on the unit ducts. Connect the low side to the test port nearest to the filter. Connect the high side to the test port nearest to the damper. Measure total static pressure. Verify CFM and airflow with the chart on the access door and also listed on the instruction sheet. Place the caps back on the test ports and set the runtime percentage back to its previous setting. Your FIN 180P is now ready to ventilate. It's the smart way to increase homeowner comfort with code-compliant ventilation and energy-efficient operation. For any other information concerning the installation, please refer to your installation and user guide or visit brone-newtone.com.